Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I like to post movie and TV content as well as New York City content because that's where I live. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week and I would love to have you join my community. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Amazon Prime's latest comedy, Ricky Staniki, which stars Zac Efron, Andrew Santino, Jermaine Fowler, and John Cena. Ricky Staniki premiered on Amazon on Thursday, March 7, and the plot of the film reads as follows. When three childhood best friends pull a prank that goes wrong, they invent the imaginary Ricky Staniki to get them out of trouble. 20 years later, they still use the non-existent Ricky as a handy alibi for their immature behavior. Ricky Staniki was directed by Peter Farley. This movie was a lot of fun. I laugh here and there. The movie is rated R, which I was a little confused about because there isn't really anything R worthy. I mean, they say a few curse words here and there, but I didn't think it was worthy of an R rating. Just FYI, I will be spoiling some of this movie, so if you don't like spoilers, I suggest that you go watch Ricky Staniki on Amazon Prime, and then after you're done, you can come back here, finish watching this review, and share in the comments what you thought about the film. So the movie revolves around these three best friends who they've been best friends since they were kids. That's Zac Efron, Andrew Santino, and Jermaine Fowler. So they've been using this made-up person Ricky Staniki to get out of situation or get out of trouble or if they want to go somewhere and they're doing something already with somebody else they say that oh Ricky Staniki something something lucky what so they've been using Ricky Staniki they made him up just to get out of situations or go places like they got tickets to go to a concert but the same day of the concert Andrew Santino's wife his character's wife is having a baby and that day is her baby shower. So to get out of the situation, to get out of going to the baby shower and instead going to the concert, they say that Ricky Staniki's cancer is back. They made it up a few years ago to go somewhere. So they say that his cancer is back and he's alone in the hospital. So they have to go see him. But all of this is just to go to a concert. So for 20 years, they've been making this guy up and using him to get out of situations. They even have a book which they refer to as the Bible, and that's where they keep track of all the stories and lies that they've told in regards to Ricky Staniki. So this is the Ricky Staniki Bible. And in 20 years, no one ever questioned if this guy was real or not. Andrew Santino's character was married, he had a wedding, and even for the wedding, uh, they mentioned that Ricky Staniki couldn't make it to Andrew's wedding because he was in Africa helping the poor. If this man is one of your husband's best friend and he can't make the wedding, can't make anything, you've never met him, wouldn't you be suspicious on the day of your wedding or at least demand that, you know, well, maybe he can send like a video or something? Wouldn't you as the wife found that a little strange? And they've been using this guy since they were kids. So every time they got in trouble as kids, they will say that it was Ricky Staniki. Like not one of the parents asked to meet this Ricky Staniki and his parents because he's the reason these kids keep getting in trouble. Wouldn't you have question? I want to meet this Ricky Staniki or, or his parents. So for 20 years, they've been getting away with this. So anyways, finally, after 20 years, they finally get suspicious because Andrew Santino, while they were at the concert, his wife was having the baby and he missed the labor. And they were like, the, his mother-in-law called every hospital. They said they were going to Albany. So she called every hospital in Albany and no one had a Ricky Staniki. And they were like, are you lying to us? Who is this Ricky Staniki? We never met him before. So they keep adding lies to the lie that they told. So now that the baby is born, they're having a brisk for the baby. That's when the baby gets his circumcision and the wife and the family demands that Ricky Staniki shows up to the, to the bris. And that's when they hire the rouchy celebrity impersonator, Rock Hard Rod, played by John Cena. So he could bring Ricky Staniki to life. But Rod takes his role too far and too serious. He is a method actor, so he becomes Ricky Staniki. He studies that Bible front to back. 
He researched the best friends, where they work. He is committed. He was so impressive that the three guys, Zac Efron and Andrew Santino worked together and their boss came to the bris. And the boss was so impressed that he offered Ricky Stanicki a job. And that's when everything goes to shit because this was supposed to be a one-time job and now this man has taken it too far and pretending to be Ricky Stanicki and he starts working at the firm with Andrew Santino and Zac Efron. And now like they can't get rid of him. They try to get him fired and Ricky Stanicki just keeps being better and better every time. I thought this film was a fun time. There was this one scene where I die laughing. It involved a Yorkie and a duck. So Zac Efron, his character, has a girlfriend who is a reporter and she's just starting out in reporting. So they have her doing this like shitty job. So she's at this country club and she's covering this duck who is sitting on top of a ball because the dog thinks it's an, an egg. So the duck won't move. So she's there for like four hours reporting on it, trying to see if it would move. And then Zac Efron is there with his the dog. They have a Yorkie together. So he just came to hang out with her. And he's like, oh, let's go for a break. Let's go take a lunch for an hour. So the duck won't move. So she's like, I can't leave until he get, the dog gets up and walks away. So Zac Efron has the bright idea to let his dog loose so the dog could go to the duck and scare him. And the Yorkie runs to the duck and start barking at him. And this duck grabbed the leash <laughs> and dragged the Yorkie into this little, this um, lake that was by the country club. And he dragged him with the leash, drowning him. And th this is not funny, but it was funny. It was a funny visual seeing this duck trying to kill this <laughs> Yorkie. <laughs> He's drowning and then Zac Efron runs into the lake to save the dog. That whole visual was just really funny to me. It was kind of dumb, but it was really funny. <laughs> so great job to the two trained animals, the duck and the Yorkie. You guys did great. I do have to say that John Cena is not afraid to look dumb or take chances when he's doing these movies. He's really funny and he's great at comedy. Out of the three major wrestlers turned actor, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Batista, Dave Batista, and John Cena, he is the only one that is not afraid to look like a fool. We all know that, you know, Dave Bautista is the best one out of the three. He's the serious one. I see him winning an Oscar one day. And I think John Cena is like the second best out of the three. He's really good at comedy and he's not afraid to dress up like Britney Spears. So I did enjoy myself watching this film. It is very funny and I rated the film two stars. And if you're looking for something to watch or if you just want a good laugh, I highly suggest you watch Ricky Stanicki, which is available on Amazon Prime. And that is the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week and I would love to have you join my growing community. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time, bye.